Alright guys, Pro Dumpster Diver here right now, back at it again today. Uh, I want to speak, I want to make sure all of you guys can hear me. So I'm doing a video on all of the palladium pieces that I have. My entire palladium hoard here right now. So I'm going to show a picture, okay? And these are examples of what uh, palladium pieces would be, okay? So these are small capacitors, these are the blue ones, these are MLCCs, MLCCs, and different color ones here, okay? So right now, I have my tweezers here today, and I've looked up some of you guys online, you guys have some amazing stuff out there, okay? So I'm going to make sure I'm doing this to the best of what I basically can, okay? So I'm going to go through this, alright? In the top corner, these are the blue... Uh, palladium pieces here I got these you can look through the channel how I got these these are the blue ones here okay and there is some writing on them I'm gonna read the writing it is 201 KD 14 uh, some of these ones here are these small palladium pieces so when this was full I just put them in here now these are the larger ones here okay these ones are 2e the big 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 ones okay now if i move the big 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 ones apart oops sorry if i move the big 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 ones apart you're going to see the other ones in here these are the darker blue ones that were sorry these are the darker blue ones that are in here okay and these are the big 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 ones all right so these are large ones you'll find these in stereos and different ones i think this is the biggest one i have let me bring this up here i think this is the biggest one i actually have uh it does have some writing on it but you will find those in stereo equipment these smaller ones here and these ones here you will oops, sorry you will find these in power supplies okay i find a lot oh, found a lot of these in power supplies back there okay and then you have like the smaller ones there that you'll find in different things all right so those are the blue ones there these these red ones you will find also in stereo equipment and some of them on smaller radios these are orange and red ones I sorted everything out by color to make it easier for you guys to understand okay inside of here are MLCC's these are capacitors in here very 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 small but you can see the brown and gray difference okay now you have to be careful because they do hold a bit of a charge and if they do get hot you have to be careful so i have a bit of them in there right now and a parts of all of these that basically broke off so in here i'll have something like this that broke a bit some of the blue ones that i'll use a tweezer that also broke i can move them in but they're really really small okay so these are the blue ones these are the red ones and orange ones there so you have a small miniature red one here as well okay small little one there these are the mlccs okay and inside of here we have the the brown ones there i'll move this over so you can see it okay you got the brown ones in here okay these are the light brown ones there but these are more the understanding capacitors there these are the bigger ones here okay so inside of here you'll have these ones okay this is my entire hoard all right and over here we'll have I guess we'll call them yellows, all right? I find a lot of these on DVD players, okay? This will be on a DVD player there, and I found about six of them on one DVD player on a Sony and stuff like that, okay? These green ones here, I found those on old radios. I actually pulled up a couple of them. Let me pull it closer so you can actually see. Okay, and I used a small pliers and I got the end of it there and pulled them up. You don't want to squeeze them too tight. Now, if it's an old system or scrap, they're going to break apart. So get it from the bottom with a, go to the dollar store and get one of those needle nose pliers and pull that up there. Okay, you see this fat one here? Now, if you look at the end of it, it started to break. This was from a very, very old piece that broke and you can see the newer ones are shiny. So if you see it shiny like this that reflects, it's a bit newer, you can scoop, you can squeeze it, you don't have to worry about it breaking. But if it's something old like this, it may, look at that, see? It, it may break on you, okay? It may definitely break on you. And I got a light green one, look at this, I got a light green one in here. You can see some of it's coming out, that's from a newer system there. Now some of the weirder colors I found is black, okay? This is a black one there, I'll separate that. 
Okay, so we have blue, we have uh, brown, we have MLCCs, we have blue, we have these light brown colors here, and I got some a bit of orange right there. Okay, you have yellow, you have green. These are these are crystals. Okay, so let me take one out. These are the small crystals you'll actually find. Okay, this is the largest crystal I found at all. Uh, the numbers on it are FC two something like something else like that all right and i also found this one here let me see if i can pull it up yeah, here we go here we go okay and this says cts singapore 9417 40 megahertz right now if you look at old controllers or kids toys you will find some of these crystals in there these are now you obviously know these are the bigger ones that are right there okay and then the miniature ones are these Okay, so there's so many different types of crystals. They range in different sizes. This, I believe, is from a remote control right now, an advanced one. You know how they're always, oh, sorry, they're always in plastic and stuff like that. Okay, so there's so many of them in here, and I believe this is from a controller as well. 72 megahertz. That's from like a robot or something like that there. Okay, now this is my entire hoard of palladium. Now, a lot of people are basically saying, well, what is this worth? Okay, there are videos online of people getting 170 grams of palladium capacitors and turning it into like 1.7 grams of palladium. Now, here is the thing you have to remember. Okay, there's so many different types. Okay, you have blues which are here, okay? Then you have the browns, which are here. So if you look and see what I actually have right now, I do have, I do have these. These in here are the blues, okay? And the browns are in here on this side, okay? You have the MLCCs, okay? I do have the MLCCs, which are right in here. That's how they are, okay? You can always tell the color difference. Oh, shoot. Now you gotta take those off with a chisel, okay? Now you also have the greens in there as well, okay? I have some of the greens over here. I bought this box at the dollar store and it allows me to sort everything out. However, you can obviously see that I'm running out of space. Blue capacitors are the number one ones you'll find. Now I am running out of space, so I'll use these two sections. But the problem is, see how I'm overflowing with crystals and I'm overflowing with greens? right but i'm not overflowing with the orange ones i am overflowing with the red right but the more mlccs you have the better so i am overflowing with this it is going to become a bigger deal right so i found these here these containers that i can put the blues in but if i put the bigger blue in like perfect example okay you see this if i put the bigger blue one in it's good it, it's going right through it so it is going to be a stoppage issue okay that is going to be a a problem right there all right and as you can look you see these yellow ones that are there i don't have much of those i don't really find a lot of them there but i do find some of the relays that has a small amount of silver in it i don't bother okay and then you have these ones here now a lot of you guys are basically asking what is uh palladium worth right now and what are they worth per gram okay so let's basically look at this uh right now i'm going to go online Okay, because I'm connected to the internet and I will do palladium prices right now. Okay, and I'll write down what palladium prices actually are. Okay, so I have let's see here. Let's see. Uh, I thought I had an index card or something like that. Uh, okay, so palladium prices right now or let's do let's do monex okay i'm still here with you guys i'm still here okay i'm just going to pull up the palladium prices i'm going to show you how much palladium is right now okay palladium right now pal people always spell it wrong palladium right now is at $2300 an ounce Okay, so palladium right now is $2,300 an ounce. Okay, and right now I'm going to find out what it is per gram. Okay, so hold on with me. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so palladium is $73.98 per gram. Okay, I want to make sure you can see that. Okay, so 
This is how much palladium basically is. $73.98 per gram. Now, how long did it take me to get all of this stuff? To be honest, I've just been getting this stuff together uh, for, I would say about a month. And then I began putting them inside of these uh, glass cases. But then I realized I would have them and what if those cases break, it's a problem. So I got this plastic container from the dollar store. Now what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna end up running out of room. And that's a good thing, okay? So I can put blues in these two containers here, okay? And I'll put the black over there. And the next space I'll run out of possibly is the crystals there and what do i do with that to be honest I, I don't know i might actually have to put these over there but i don't want to mix them up because they're made up of different things like perfect example the mlccs okay let me see if i can get one out the mlccs would end up burning faster than these because these have a plastic coating on it okay perfect you see this there's a plastic coating on that for me to get to the metal under it okay and I would have to burn it so it's very very different they're gonna burn at different rates this is metal on top of it so I have to burn through the metal so the metal is gonna burn differently than the plastic and the plastic is gonna burn differently than the MLCC's you have to remember that okay so let's look at this for example all right uh, all right so I, I do have a, a weight scale okay let's look at the weight scale right now Okay, so I'm going to shut this down. Okay, I have a weight scale, which is right here. Okay, and I'm going to measure what this basically is right now. Okay, quickly, 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 quickly. Okay, this is 614, right there, about 614. I don't know if it shows on camera, okay? So, about 614 grams, okay? Now, I have to take maybe, I have to take out what this container actually is. However, before I put stuff in the container, I weigh the container. On the bottom, you can actually see the weight of it, 98 grams, so I'm smart, okay? So let's use my calculator, okay, and do this. So 618 grams subtract 98 grams is 520, okay? So let's do some math here, okay? Let's take 520 grams of scrap, okay? And I have to figure out how much palladium is in here. Now, let's just do this. Let's just say I get 10 grams of palladium, okay? So for every 520 grams of scrap capacitors, I'll get 10 grams of palladium. Now, what is 10 grams of palladium if 73.98 grams is the palladium price right now? So you'll just take 73.98 and you multiply that by just 10 grams that I have right now, okay? So let's do that, 73.98 times uh, 10, 10 grams, okay? If that's the case, I have $739.8 of palladium, okay? Let me switch this around. Is that a good thing? Absolutely. Now, again, this, I've only been collecting palladium for a month. I know my channel has been longer. I should have been collecting more, but I haven't. And that is my fault because I forgot that I should have been collecting palladium more, okay? So this, let me make sure it doesn't slip out. This is my entire palladium hoard right here. This is what I've been doing. If you guys have any questions, uh, please go in the comment section and let me know. So this is all, I printed out a sheet. So when I get across scrap, I know what to do. So print out a sheet, go to Office Depot or Staples. It'll cost you 20 cents, but it will net you a couple hundred because you need to know what to look for. Many people don't, okay? The blues are easier to find. The crystals are easier to find. I passed by an old factory that held old electronics out of it. Talk to people, old people who have old electronics at the recycling bin. You never know. All of this I collected for about a month. So if this is worth about 700 or 800 bucks, it's pretty damn good. All of it's in a dollar case, all right? So this is how it is. Let me spin it around so you can actually see. This is my entire Palladium hoard. I'm gonna put this up for the new subscribers so you guys actually know how it's done.
Okay, that's my entire palladium hoard right there. All right, Pro Dumpster Diver is out. Let me know if you have any questions at all. Uh, the case is from the dollar store. It's pretty easy, actually. That's it. Pro Dumpster Diver.